Hello friends, welcome to Core Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of debugging in Visual Studio. In this video, we are going to see the concept of watch window and we'll see how watch windows are helpful to inspect the values of variable. In last video, we already saw the concept of data tips, which is also used to inspect the values of variables. So in this video, we will see how watch window is different than data tips. So let us start. So as I said, watch windows allows us to watch the values of your variables, objects, collection in your program, but in the current scope only. It also allows us to watch the expression. Now what it means? You can write your own expression. Okay, it can be an arithmetical expression or it can be a call to your function. That values are also easily observed in your watch window. And if you are aware of the concept of link, okay, link also allows us to create an expression. So that kind of expression, complicated expression can also be observed in watch window. So let us see it in action. So I'm switching to Visual Studio. So as you can see here, I'm using the same console application, debug again Visual Studio, okay. So here I created one class file employee.cs having one employee class. Some basic properties related to employees are added here. And one method is wrote to calculate the net salary of employee. And as you can see here, I introduced one static count variable. So whenever the employee object is instantiated, that count will be incremented. And one more method is there that is quit method. So whenever employee leaves the job, at that time this count variable will be decremented. And there is one more property, read only property that is total employees. It is returning the count. Okay. Since we kept this static variable private and I want to know it, how many web employees are there. So for that purpose, I introduced this public property, which is read only. So here, uh, slowly as we proceed, uh, you will come to know why I introduced this many variables, why static variable is introduced. Okay. So we will going to see this part step by step. So the first step is that how to add watch window. Okay. So as I said, it is used to watch the values of our variables or objects. For that purpose, we generally use watch window. So first step is how to add watch window. So to add a watch window, you have to run your program and it should be in the debug mode. Then only you can add the watch window. This is the basic step. Okay. So what will I do? Here I wrote a test employee class okay which will instantiate this employee class i pass some dummy data and then i'm calculate i am sorry then i'm calling the net salary method and here here i already put a breakpoint okay so i hope all of you are aware of this how to put a breakpoint so what you have to do you can take a help of shortcut key that is f9 or you can place a mouse pointer on this gray area and just click over here just make sure that your mouse pointer is pointing towards left. Okay, that is the only condition. So what happened whenever I run my program with debugging, then my execution control will stop here. And from this point onwards, I can step through a code. Okay, so let us say start debugging or you can directly hit F5 key or this option is also available. So I'm just hitting this. Okay, so my execution control stops here. Now this point onwards, I can debug my code. So I'll just step into this method. So for that purpose, I have to use this option, step into. Okay, now here you can see that there are too many variables, HRA, DA, PF, profession tax, and few more variables are there that is allowances, deductions, okay. And what I want to do, I want to watch all these values at a time, okay. So I'm going to add a watch window. So go to debug menu, go to windows, and here you can see that there is watch window available. So totally four watch windows are there. There is no difference between these watch windows. Basically, multiple watch windows are available for you to organize your variables or objects. That is the only purpose. So I'm just going to add one watch. 
so once you add it you can see it here watch one okay now here you can specify the variable that you want to watch so just place a cursor over here and start typing so in this current scope these variables are accessible so i can type it over here hra okay you, you will get an intelligence and just hit a enter key so now it is zero another way is to add this variable to watch window is just select it right click over here and say add watch one more option is there suppose i want to watch the value of pf so i'll select it and i'll drag it over here that's it okay so once you add your variable here you can see it in this way means first of all it will show you the name then value and then type okay and once you step through a code you can observe that these values are changing so just say step into a step over see now this value get changed right so this red color designate that this is the value recently changed okay so in this way you can observe the value see what is the disadvantage of data tips you have to over your mouse on that variable then only you can see that value right so whenever your value get changed every time you have to place a mouse pointer over there and then only you can see that value and again you have to every time do a scroll up and scroll down so this is sometime cumbersome right if you want to see the value continuously then watch window is the better option and you can observe the values of multiple variables at the same time okay then as i said it can be used to observe the expression so what will i do as you can see here let me step over this so we got the pf value it is 15 percent of basic salary now suppose i want to check what is 20 percent of basic salary i can directly write down the expression here it is just a simple mathematical expression so basic salary into point 20 say m m is for decimal so you can see the value immediately here so 14 20 percent of basic salary is what 4300 so in this way you can observe the value of expression also you can directly type the expression over here okay just remember one thing all the variables that you are typing here should be in the current scope okay so let us step out we'll go to calling code so i'll say step out now once we are in different method right before this we are in net salary method now we are in the main method okay you can see that this section get turned into gray color basically these variables are not in current scope now okay and if you try to re-evaluate it this this symbol this symbol designate re-evaluation so just click over here you will get an error message so the variables which are not in current state current context or current scope can't be evaluated remember this thing okay now suppose i want to check the value of this object that is employee one so what i can do i can also add this object in the watch window so for that purpose i'm going to add one more watch one more watch window sorry so just go to windows remember this thing that this watch window is available during debugging only so just go to watch two so one more watch window get added okay it's already there what will i do i'll remove it i'll show you how to remove it also so just right click over here and delete watch say delete watch or if you have multiple watch variables added here so you can select all and then you can say clear all so anything is a feasible option so here what will i do i'll just select it and i'll drag it over here so since it is an object you can expand it and you can observe the value of this properties okay we have some static members also 
so you can see this here total employee is read only property and count is a prop uh, private static variable okay and just we created a single object so it is showing the count one once i create another object i'll say step into once i create one more object okay this count variable get incremented by one see now you can step into this net salary method and you can observe the variables in that particular method okay so if you want to observe it just switch to first watch because we already kept that values there so just say step into okay once you move to this method this particular variables get activated okay something in enable state and you can observe their values see okay now i want to show you one more thing say i'll drag, drag this basic salary also you can edit this value here okay say i'll make it 32000 now this point onward okay this point onward the basic salary value will be 32500 so you can also use the watch window to alter or to change the value of your variables so in this way you can perform experiments on your data and you can write the expression and even while debugging you can take a decision that which code will be more suitable okay because here what happened while watching this data it will help us to write a code okay so you can build your expression here so that is the most biggest advantage i'll say of watch window okay see now pf is something pf is still not calculated yeah pf is 4875 okay So besides these advantages, uh, watch window has some disadvantages also. So instead of disadvantages, I'll say a side effect of watch window. Okay. So as I told you, we can evaluate the expression. Similarly, we can call a method also from watch window. So let me show you here. I'll say emp2 dot net salary. So here, what you are doing, you are evaluating method through watch window means basically the code under this net salary method get executed and then you got this result okay so this method is not harmful because it is not altering my basic data but there are some methods which may alter or change our basic data okay so in the beginning of this i told you that i have one quit method which is changing or which is decrementing the static count okay so if you observe here basically we created two objects of employees so my count is two here so if we check employees dot total employees this is static property so we have two total employees okay when we are calling that quit method whenever any employee leaves the company at that time that quit method will be called and what that quit method is doing that quit method is decrementing count by one now what happened if i call this method through watch window that particular method get evaluated and my original data get affected right it should get changed whenever it executes through program not through a watch window so that is the side effect of our watch window so let me show you so what will i do i'll add another watch window for this okay will not disturb this to watch window say i add watch three okay now first of all i'll add that total employees property in watch window so we can observe the output okay currently it is what it is two now here i'll say employee dot quit we know that what quit method is doing sorry emp1 dot quit suppose employee one resigns the job so i'll say emp1 dot quit 
see what quit method is doing it is decrementing count by one and total employees method is showing that or returning that count value okay see what happened it becomes one if i say emp2 dot quit again that count will decrease by one and now it is zero now if i again reevaluate it it will be minus one it will be minus two minus three minus four so since it allows us to execute a method through watch window it may alter our basic data so be careful whenever you are evaluating any method through watch window so that is the only side effect of your watch window so whenever you are evaluating any method through watch window be careful because as i said it sometimes modify your base data and your program may end up with different output okay i hope you enjoy this video and now you are aware of how helpful watch windows are and how effectively we can use it while debugging so thank you for watching and happy debugging